Hey, good afternoon everybody. Hope you guys are having an awesome Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. I'm gonna get this video out the day before. That way it gives you an opportunity to make this dish. Now this is a little bit different setting than my last previous videos. Um, I'm not outside cooking over the open fire. Um, I could do this in a Dutch oven, but I chose to do this this evening. Um, put it in the refrigerator overnight and show you guys the finished product in the morning. Uh, so today what I'm gonna be doing is a pumpkin cheesecake from scratch. Um, I'm going to give you a detailed list and instructions on what to do in the description box below. So you clicked on this video for one or two reasons. Uh, one, either you love cheesecake and two, you love to eat. So you want to come over here and see what Dutch is eating today. Um, I'm going to show you a little bit of the ingredients I got here. Like I said before, it's going to be detailed down below. Um, I'll I'm going to show you guys prepping this, putting it in the oven, and then we're going to stick it in the refrigerator overnight. You only have, this only calls for grandma's recipe, only calls for four hours in the fridge after you bake it for an hour. Um, but we'll go over the details as we're doing it. Right, It's gonna be a pretty quick video. All I'm gonna do is show you prepping it, putting it into the pans. Um, I've, already, uh, I've already made this once before. Um, I did a test run. Um, I've made grandma's cheesecakes in the past, never done pumpkin, but I did a pumpkin this time, and I'm doing it in two smaller pans. As uh, you can see here, um, the recipe calls for a bigger pan, but I want to break into two because I want to bless someone with a cheesecake and I want to keep one for the family. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you do, share this video. Sharing the video, these cooking videos helps me out a bunch. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. I think you guys really like what we got going on here at Dutch Eats. So we're going to make the crust and it calls for one and three fourths cup of graham crackers. And from what I found out, that's about one thing of graham crackers. You can have maybe a couple more if you wanted to, um, but this is what turned out perfect for me in the bigger cheesecake. So we're going to try it with these two smaller ones. And uh, the best way to do this pretty much, stick it in a big old plastic bag, just plastic bag like this and break it up. Now it calls for three tablespoons of brown sugar. I'm just gonna go ahead and stick that right in the bag and get it mixed up. It calls for the light brown sugar. And then it calls for a half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Bam. Get this back on there. And we're going to shake this bag up, get it mixed up, and then we'll add it to our pans and uh, add the butter. We're going to mix it into a bowl and then put it into our pans. Got, and it calls for the one stick of butter um, to get this all put together. Melted butter. Okay, this recipe is not going to stretch out to two of them. Um, I made one bigger one, probably a 12-inch cheesecake last time, um, and it, was, it turned out perfect. Um, but now I'm actually using a 9-inch, and this is what this recipe calls for. So I, I lied to you guys at the very beginning about trying to bless someone else with another cheesecake. Uh, so just bear with me on that. And uh, we're, I'm going to bless my family this time with one, and uh, I'll have to make some more for some other people. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. <laughs> well, I'm just gonna get this packed in here and then then we're gonna go uh, we'll make the filling so this is gonna be one thick cheesecake okay so we got that mixed up like I said I lied to you guys I'm doing one nine inch cheesecake that's what this recipe calls for I thought I could stretch it out into two smaller ones since last time I made one bigger one not gonna work so let's just go ahead and do what the recipe calls for for a nine inch pan now you can pick these pans up on amazon um, if i can find a link i'll put a link down below um, but they're easy to come across it's like nine bucks for three different ones and uh they're they're just four cheesecakes let me show you this real quick so they're just four cheesecakes it has a little side right here that opens up so you cook your food and then you take this out and you got your pan so you need you need to use this uh, for the best results Okay, so I got my crust ready to go. Now let's get the filling ready and pour it in and bake it. So you're gonna need three of the eight ounce packs of, I use Philadelphia um, Charlotte's cream cheese. Um, you need three of those at room temperature. Um, you're gonna get one can of pumpkin. Um, it's 15 ounces of pumpkin. And you could do other, other types of cheesecake with this. I want to 
I wanted to do pumpkins to show you guys. That way if you all wanted to make this for your Thanksgiving dinner tomorrow, you could. And you can do this within about a five hour period. All right, now I'm gonna put the sour cream and that's just gonna be one fourth cup of sour cream. So put your three eggs in there. You just gotta get the egg yolk out of this and I just go back and forth getting the egg whites out just like that and then pushing it back over there into there. Just get it out as much as you can. That's the main yolk right there. So one and a half cups of sugar. It's a lot of sugar, I know. That's gonna be good. Half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Let's do that. And one eighth teaspoon of nutmeg. And I just put a pinch in there. I don't measure that out exactly. It seems to work pretty good when I do that. Two tablespoons of all purpose flour. All right, tablespoons. And one teaspoon of vanilla um, extract. Now I always, I try to mostly pour it up over something else that. You don't want to pour directly over this, that way it overspills, you don't get too much ingredient. That's something my grandma always taught me. See, I just spilt some and went all over the place. Perfect. So I'm going to beat this up how it is right now, and then I'm going to add the can of pumpkin, then we're going to pour it into our uh, cheesecake pan. So I got that beat for probably like 15 seconds. Now we're going to add our pumpkin. Perfect. So I got beat up, I probably beat it for a good minute. I um, got it nice, nice and mixed up, and now we're gonna pour it into the pan um, with our crust in there, and then we're gonna stick it in the oven for an hour, Then I'll show you that process, and we'll put it in the oven, and then tomorrow morning, I'll show you the finished product. Okay, while we're waiting on the cheesecake to cook, my brother brought over some fajitas. And if you guys remember one of my first videos, I said I'm always gonna eat meat in every video. Well, I'm gonna keep that promise in this video. And uh, we're gonna eat some fajitas. I thought he's making quesadilla fajitas, but he made just fajitas, I guess. Um, he actually has a cooking channel, and I'll let him talk real quick about um, his channel. And I'll show you the food, and then we'll eat it. What's up? Hey, everybody, how's it going? All right, that's enough, what you got? <laughs> What's up? Hey everybody, how you doing? Hey, I'm Vincent and I got a cooking channel it's called Good Grub Almighty. And now, all you I have to say it like that whenever you say it, like you have to say Good Grub Almighty. That's the only way you can say it. Okay. That's the only okay. way. Gotcha. Uh, anyway, and on my channel, all we do is delicious, easy, and affordable meals. So pretty much anything for dinner, lunch, breakfast, uh, it's gonna be affordable, easy, and delicious. All right, so you're saying it's gonna be delicious, huh? Oh yeah. It looks all right, it looks like Jesse meat. That's some Jesse steak. That's some Jesse ribeye. That's right. With some delicious cheese tortillas and homemade fries. Now he's got kind of a homemade fries. Good grub almighty. I don't know where that's come from. You like that? <laughs> yeah, it's really like good. It. All right, so I'm going to throw a little bit of fajita together, take a bite, and then I'm going to get off here. Let's try one of these potatoes. Mm. All right, let's try the fajitas. Delicious. Pretty good meat. I think that tortilla is stale. What'd you do to it? I set it on my flat top and oh. cheese melt. Okay. I'm going to teach Vincent a few things. <laughs> Pretty good meat though. Good flavor. Tails are good. Good job, Vincent. Pretty good. If you want, if you want to see uh, some good Grub Almighty, go check out Vincent's YouTube channel. I'll put a link up right there to him cooking this. So I haven't seen it yet. Hopefully it turned out good. I hope so too. All right. Next time you're going to see the cheesecake.
Okay, so I got it out of the oven, and one thing I didn't mention or show is I put this um, on top of a cooking sheet, and I added about a cup of water all the way around it, three-fourths cup of water. Um, and the reason for that is supposed to help it from splitting in the middle real bad. Now, I do have a little bit of splittage, um, but that's, that's perfectly fine, perfectly normal. Um, it's, it turned out awesome. I'm going to let it sit for 15 minutes. I'm going to put it in the refrigerator. So the next time you see this video, um, we're going to be eating some cheesecake. So see you in a minute. Okay, welcome back. It's been like 10 hours. Actually, yeah, about 10 hours. And I got this cheesecake ready to go. I'll bring you guys on in here to take a look at this. Super easy to do. And I'm gonna bring my little uh, helper. Hope you over here try. It's her birthday. So you guys wish her happy birthday down in the comment section below. I'm gonna give her a little bit of pumpkin cheesecake for breakfast. Okay, so all you do with these little uh, pans, you just pop that up, then you just pull it off. Look at that, it looks like a pro made it. Hey, we just lost power for a minute. Did you look at that? It looks like it turned out perfect. Now, I ended up did getting a split once it started cooling, that's fine. Um, the moisture in the pan is supposed to prevent most of that. And a little bit of the topping got cut up on the, on the foil, but other than that, looks awesome. Good job. What do you think, Hoppy? Does it look good? Hey, happy birthday. Hi. How old are you? Six? And, and you got your new ears pierced. <laughs> new ears. You got your ears pierced. All right, Hope, you want to try this? Yeah. All right. It looks yummy. Yeah. Put little dots everywhere. Looks so yummy. And put one in the middle. Here you go, birthday girl. You do the honors. <laughs> you like it? All right, can I try it too? She said I could try it too, even though it's her birthday cheesecake. I'm gonna get some of the topping on it. That's better than the last one I made. That is absolutely perfect cheesecake. Especially making it from scratch. Oh my gosh, that's good. What? You want more? She wants more. So I'm going to get off here. I'm going to put all the directions down below in the description box if you guys want to make this tonight for tomorrow's Thanksgiving. That's why I wanted to get it out on Wednesday because um, I know some of y'all may be trying to think of something cool to make. If you like, if you like pumpkin, you like cheesecake, you're going to absolutely love this cheesecake. Follow the directions and you cannot go wrong. Thanks for watching, y'all. Catch y'all next episode of Dutch Eats.